What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 106 update. This week brings the new Biomore backpack, and this is a workshop backpack that seems like it might actually be useful. We also get some news about bees, and they are the next animal to arrive in Icarus, and some more news. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 106 brings the Biomore backpack. It is a team medic backpack with three active auras that gives you three different buffs. It also gives you six slots in your inventory as well. Other than the backpack and some bees, there's some future content news and stuff like that for us to jump in and read. This week we're receiving the Biomore backpack and it is a new backpack for the medic and your crew. You can purchase it in the workshop. It gives you six inventory slots, three active auras for your nearby allies, which includes physical resistance, quicker healing from bacterial, parasitic, and poisons, and additional health regeneration, and some buffs for the wearer as well. Reduces the stamina impact from using tools and gives more health to down prospectors when they're revived. When you go to your workshop and then go to backpacks, you'll notice in the middle here to the right, you'll see the new buy a more backpack. Handy backpack to cover all your medical needs. It gives you plus 5% movement speed, six inventory slots, negative 10% stamina consumed by actions, nearby allies have additional physical resistance, plus 50% health restored to revive incapacitated players. Nearby allies have a quicker healing from bacterial infections, parasitic infections, poisons, and physical trauma, and nearby allies have additional health regeneration. It does cost 250 ren and 100 exotics to research, and 50 ren and 50 exotics to craft. Once you get a backpack, you can put it on. It gives you all those stats, and we'll go over those stats and show you what they are. So there's two different stats to look at on the Biomore backpack, and what you need to do is look at the aura effects and the aura. So there's an aura effect here. That means that it's affecting you and is giving you a healing boost. Granted by a helpful prospector nearby. So you do get your own buffs when you're wearing the backpack. 30% bacterial, parasitic, and poison affliction reduction in the duration. And negative 30% physical trauma afflictions duration. For example, here is an aura. This is what you are shooting out with a backpack. An aura effect affects you. And an aura is what you are broadcasting out you can see with the aura effect the physical damage reduction is plus five percent physical resistance and the health regeneration is actually quite nice it is plus 100 percent health regeneration so that means that your health will regenerate twice as fast if you have this backpack on or at least 100 percent more so another good feature is that the health regeneration 100 percent health regeneration that means when you take damage like i just jumped off a cliff you'll see that that is slowly ticking up and it will eventually repair your health completely so it will completely heal you fast or faster than it did before if you're wearing it so let's talk about range so mid streamer up there has our backpack on and when we get close to it you can see it's about it's a, I want to call it maybe like three and a half ish. If you look at the rails here, one, two, three, maybe f yeah, about three and a half. It looks like about three and a half here and close to four, basically this far away. You'll see we're just going to scoot up real close. And then now we got the buffs. So the range on it is about three blocks wide. Uh, all around, which isn't a lot of range, to be honest with you. A lot of times when you're doing bosses and stuff like that, or doing uh, stuff together, you don't usually group up together a lot, so I don't know how useful it would be in a real combat situation. We'll see. And whenever you get knocked down and then revived, you get a decent amount of HP back. So yeah, that's the backpack. So the news that most of you probably are waiting for are batteries and networks. So as they mentioned in previous weeks, they have a huge portion of their development team focusing on batteries and networks currently. They stated they've been doing a lot of internal testing and they found a flaw which they didn't like. So they're going to need some more time before it releases to work on that issue, which isn't ideal, but it's more important that it works. And I agree with that 100%. Just make sure it works before you release it. I personally would much rather a game developer before they release that product or that new edition i would much rather a developer 100 percent make sure that works and it's not a buggy nightmare or a mess before they release it so take as much time as you need and the batteries and networks will come when they come i agree with that 100 percent just when you release something and it's the only thing that you release and it's bugged it's not really a good lookout 
Comment down if you believe the same. They're also working on how you diagnose faulty networking systems and remedy them. And this means that we won't be getting batteries or network changes until next year because of the holiday break. And they deserve some well time off, which is understandable. But however, they can't wait to test it out and hopefully they'll have a special experimental branch up on Steam if they deem it ready before Christmas. If you want to experience it and break it in all of its unstable glory. And we'll probably check that out during a stream when they release that. Coming soon soon is bees and bees will be one of the newest creatures that has been added to icarus or one of the next creatures added to icarus while beehives will spawn aggressive bees appearing around the map they're very territorial and only attack you if you venture into their space and destroying the hives can give you a queen bee and honeycomb just like valheim I mean, domestic beehives will be crafted at tier two and expanded upon on tier four with improvements adding layers of automation to the management process, which means you're gonna have to actually tend to your bees. <laughs> you make sure you tend to your bees. <laughs> Honeycomb as an ingredient will be turned into honey and beeswax, which can be used in various new recipes and bees will be added in 2024. So keep an eye out in the new year for your new neighbors. And next week we are getting two new animal rugs and that's gonna be the Jaguar and Snow Leopard and hopefully they have heads. So remember to gather vestiges for leather and pelts in advance to this week so that you can craft them right away. And they still need money and they're still on sale actually too. And we're already to the change log. He's checking it once, checking it twice. Gonna find out what's shoddy and noise. In the new content section, they unlocked the medic's backpack. They fixed a number of typos and fixed simple missions granting old glass working bins instead of an updated model. Oh, they fixed the land shark dropping cave worm vestiges. You know what that means? I'm just a thumping. Just a thumping. Come on, give me a trophy. Give me a trophy, please, for the love of God. I've been sitting here talking for ages. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. See, guys, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I mean, we literally just did the land shark four times on hard with over 130 to 150 ores spawned each time. And I've got one cave worm vestige, even though it says it was fixed. That's worth a like and subscribe in itself, right? We did it so you don't have to. <laughs> and we're going to skim over to the future content section. Talking about the chicken and water purificator. And they're talking about the biolab and biomass. Looks like we may be getting a fur curtain door. And it looks like we're getting two different size batteries, those small and large. They're adding a ton of stuff to the back end, like what corpses can be skinned with what and stuff like that and workshop costs for items, etc. Ah, and we're getting a battery rack. That's pretty freaking cool. Large and small. And they're adding the first pass of the Mount Talent Trees. And it looks like we're getting the Larkwell Techion armor set. And that's it for this change log. And thank you so much to the Late Night Crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Hong Po, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jay Bird, Sanchez Gaming, Bit Tang Warrior, The Bot, Sven, Rear, and Sasquatch. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew and for being members. And thank you to our supporters as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing, of course, will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one. We're going to do a weekly update video until Icarus no longer does them. And also content videos whenever those come out. Comment down below if you got a video that we don't have covered on the channel or an ideal covered on the channel about Icarus that you may be interested in. We may do a video on that and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.